I have seen people do YouTube videos all my life, and I've wanted to create some too. Hence why I started this YouTube channel. I have just one tiny problem. I am pretty bad at reading scripts and staring at the camera and recording and I don't have any equipment and the rest of my insecurities. I feel like my delivery is a bit wooden and I don't express as much as I like. I made this reference in my video titled, Obese Man Does Planks for 5 Minutes Every Day. In that video, subscriber B Space C commented that reading out loud for 30 minutes a day may improve my speaking voice. That was such a good idea that I immediately got to work, started, and creating that challenge. If you're reading that comment now, please note that the uh, other ones that are listed here, the eating vegetables 10 times a day and the rest of them, are also going to be being done by me. I try and do every video that's suggested to me. For self-improvement, crafts, and fitness games, go ahead and turn on YouTube. And watch Jack. With that challenge proposed, it's time to begin my task. I wanted to read a book out loud every single day for 60 days. Originally, I used to do like 30 day challenges, but there weren't really that much results and I was kind of running through my ideas list pretty quickly. So I update how long I did my challenges for from 30 to 60. With that, I will lower my goal of speaking from 30 minutes a day to 20 minutes a day, with my usual days off in between. I will read out loud for 51 days out of the 60 in total. That leaves me speaking out loud for this challenge 17 hours of the, over the course of 60 days. With that said, I got to work, making my outline and started reading out loud. Here's me speaking on day one. That's right, you'll hear me within these clips uh, speaking, you know, whatever book I'm reading then, uh, for about a minute and 10 seconds. Society focuses only on the stereotypical and negative aspects of manhood. Sadly, manliness has come to be associated with the dithering dads of television sitcoms and commercials. The shallow action dudes of cinema who live to blow stuff up and the meatheads of men's magazines who covet six-pack abs above all else. Our goal with this book is to hope to encourage a new generation of men to pick up their grandfathers left off in the history and legacy of manliness. Many people have argued that we need to reinvent what manliness means in the 21st century. Usually, this means of stripping manliness from its masculinity and replacing it with a more sensitive, feminine qualities. We argue that manliness does not need to be reinvented. The art of manliness just needs to be rediscovered. While no book could ever fully cover all the positive qualities, my goal in this challenge was to get through reading at least one book. With my goal set, I started the challenge on November 1st, 2022 and finished on December 30th just in time for to get ready for New Year's celebration and finish my New Year's goals. My New Year's goals was to read at least five books, so this challenge came on right on time to help me almost reach it. So that's right, spoiler alert for those who didn't read my or watch my uh, New Year's goals recap, I did not reach my New Year's goal this year since I only read the books for this challenge. I actually haven't even read any books this year so far, and it's already April as I'm recording this.
The books that I wanted to read were The Art of Manliness by Brett McKay and I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. I have made my love for The Art of Manliness known far and a wide by all through the videos in this series, like the self-improvement, me doing the 30 days, um, I did that. I also used to love iCarly back when it came out when I was in junior high. Man, I am old now. Here's Miss McCurdy's book now. 16. Are you sure I should wear this? I'm looking down at the outfit that has spiraled onto me from the torn couch. The same outfit I wore on every addiction since the Winn-Dixie situation. A fuzzy pink shirt with a rhinestone heart in the center of it. Black fake leather shorts and black go-go boots. Yes, I'm sure. But I feel like a street walker in it, I tell mom as my hot curlers rattle. These curlers are also post Win dixie development. Mom let out a big laugh. How do you know what that is? From when you had me watch Taxi Driver. Oh yeah, that's right. If I remember, Josie's Foster's an unrivaled child performer. I finished for her since she always says the same thing about every time Jodie Foster's name came up. That's right, baby. Unrivaled. Unrivaled, except for you. Jeanette's no Jodie Foster. I nod along and look down at the outfit again. I dreaded putting it on. It makes me feel embarrassed and not like myself. Are you sure this is what I should wear? Yes, the outfit makes you look very pretty. Not streetwalker pretty, but very pretty. For both of these books, I recommend reading them. Art of Manliness is obviously more geared towards self-improvement and, of course, men. But Jeanette's book also taught me a lot of things about like the therapy process and understanding grief and just digesting like childhood trauma. Both of these books are easy recommendations from me to you guys. If you guys haven't read them yet, go ahead and buy them and read them. Other books I did read during this time but didn't finish are Cracked.com D-Textbook. You know, it's basically a parody textbook teaching about the real side of science and history. This book uh, gave me video ideas such as using a yoga chair as a desk chair and uh, more possibly future videos that I want to do based on the misconceptions that that book outlined. It's going to be great. It's more of a choose whatever topic you want to read about type of thing, which makes it a great filler in between the more kind of heavy books. I will tell you about the horrible book I read after day 24 so disowned by her. She asks me what brings me in and I tell her about the Steve and Ultimatum and how I love him and want to things work out to us so I agree to come here. All right well that's fine but therapy is a thing we have to decide to do. We have to want it to change not for someone else but for ourselves. Oh she takes a long sip of tea. So Jeanette do you want to change? Yeah, I say, knowing that even though there's more nuance to it than this, this is what I should say. It's almost like Laura is casting director and I'm the child actor, trying to say the exact thing that will earn me a callback. Yes, I can swim. Yes, I can pogo stick. Yes, I want to change. Okay, good, says Laura. Laura asks me what I'm currently struggling with in life. Why exactly Steven suggested I come here, and I dive right in. My mom's death, bulimia, alcohol issues, the works. I try giving her the succinct elevator pitch version. I figure we got more sessions to unpack the specifics. In a buttery voice, Laura gives me a rundown on how things are going to work. I take a holistic approach to recovery, so our sessions will incorporate a lot of variety. Today, we'll focus on the life wheel so we can gauge where you're starting. The absolute worst book that I have possibly ever read was titled Men Love Bitches. It was a horrible misandry book about how men love women who are dumb, 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 and they don't like listening to them. It's just, ugh. I read it for like a few days and stopped after a few chapters. Seriously, the top highlights of the quotes you see on the Amazon page from the book from Kindle readers are, and this is a real quote from the book, words are not needed to teach a man how to treat you. A little bit of silence or distance will do the trick. 
It's, you know, as if not talking about issues in a relationship is works. You know, why discuss issues with your partner when you can just ignore them? Great advice. It's a viewpoint of like 2002 relationships that do not hold the test of time. And today is much more progressive and I'll be honest, fair society. I get the core concept of the book, which is women shouldn't make sacrifices for relationships, especially in the early stages uh, when they're trying to meet guys. It's one that I agree with personally. However, just the tone of the book and trying to get more and more into the relationship things past the initial meeting is just awful. Seriously, this book is not worth reading. I don't even know why I picked it up. Someone recommended me to read it and I regret reading it. Here's me on day 36. Healthy state of things. Instead of avoiding criticism, seek it for opportunities to be criticized. You will get feedback from an outside source that will stretch your talents and abilities. Thank your critic, even if be handed to your butt to you. This can be difficult. No one seriously wants to say thank you for showing me that I was wrong, but swallow your pride and sincerely thank your critic. They'll be sit down time home. Take action and follow up. After you receive your criticism, take action immediately. After you take an action, be sure to follow up with your critic and let them know that you've rectified the problem. This shows that you actually listened to the critics and respected what the person has to say. If by Rudyard Kipling. Many leaders have seen the wisdom in memorizing poems and passages from great books, filling their minds with inspirational words to have to read whenever their soul is in trouble. If there's one word poem you should consider to memory, let it be Rudyard Kipling's If. But there's perhaps not better memoramic and written canon to on one's leadership and manhood. Now let's get into my experience with this challenge. My experience doing this challenge was a really weird one. I haven't read out loud uh, different types of books since they made you do so in like junior high school. I didn't like it then and I really don't like it now. During the process of reading out loud, my throat started to hurt like hell. Between this and talking a ton at work, it's just not a good time to be my throat. I had to like down throat drops in between speaking roles, uh, between speaking the, uh, during the books and speaking at work. However, I do will say that I do feel like I've gotten a little bit more comfortable reading text by partaking in this challenge. You can compare day one with me reading the awful, awful book now on day 60. For example, when he leaves his clothes on the floor next to the bed before he turns in for the night. Don't worry about it. He'll probably get out of the bed in the morning and pick them up, and then he'll put them right back on. About those socks and underwear that are prepared pre pre through your house, that was your fault because you bought a hamper with a lid. Much too complicated. Get a hamper with no lid and strategically put it in the corner. Congrats, you now eradicated your own basketball hoop. Every time he makes a dunk shot of his dirty underwear, two points. Do you always charge the toilet paper roll? Does he always get a full roll or you get the last crummy little square, half of which is stuck to the cardboard? Nothing a little housebreaking won't fix. One Sunday morning, he'll go to the bathroom and take a seat with the sports section. He won't notice the absence of toilet paper for 20 minutes because he'll fist state it on the stats for Saturday night football game. All these assumptions, this book is fucking terrible. Then when he's finished reading, he'll call, Honey, honey, can you hear me? No response. This is your cue to take out the kitchen trash. After all, the sun is shining, the flowers are blooming, and the birds are... I really feel there's a difference in my enunciation between the two days. That is especially true considering how much my throat was hurting and the awful book I was reading. Overall, this was a positive experience for me that I think has improved my speaking to this day. I will say right now during the video, it's kind of a pain just because my uh, teleprompter's up here, my camera's here, so I have to like look back and forth. But other than that, I feel like it, d it has improved my speaking voice. I feel like I have to make fewer cuts with my in-person video when compared to like my earlier content.
I am still nowhere near where I'd want to be in terms of like my voice residence or like my enunciation of words. You know, I fumble a lot. I'm sure you can see I've had to make some cuts because I kept messing up the words and you know, just my overall tone range. But I will say that it's a start and it's something I will improve. I was someone who was in speech class in elementary school. Um, I mentioned before that I also am someone who's on the autism spectrum and I was once terrified of public speaking. So, you know, I went from being terrified of public speaking to now doing like YouTube videos and speaking in front of like hundreds of people at work at different developer conferences. I have to say, I've come a long way, damn it. And doing challenges such as these is what has given me like more confidence in my voice and, you know, given me more experience talking and just working through words on the screen. I still have a ton to improve on. Don't get me wrong. Hell, everybody does. And I know that we'll all improve and get there one day. We just got to keep working at it. So guys, that's it for today's video. Again, this was a suggested video topic uh, by B Space C. If you want to see me do another particular challenge, then leave them in the comments below. I will do pretty much every single challenge that isn't illegal and won't harm me in any physical way. This right here isn't the Jackass YouTube channel. This is the Jack Jenkins YouTube channel. I just want to say that right now. If you like this video, then please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube video for more content such as this. I put out a new video every single Friday. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at TrueJackJank. Visit my website, jack-jenkins.com. I put up the script to these videos and that's basically it. I still need to kind of get the website up to date and put out more videos, content and stuff. It's just a work in progress. Lastly, I want all you guys watching to have an incredible day. All you guys watching are just so amazing and we can improve together. That was a sloppy execution of my last quote in the whole video topic of improving yourself to reading out loud. Let me redo that. Guys, we can improve together. So cheesy, but I kind of like it. Let me know if you guys like it in the comments below.